Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I don't know why I took that tone of voice. It's a new day, uh, yesterday's- no. You don't- no, I was just about to talk about how we were starting up a brand new day, and then you choose to push this evil on me, right off the bat. We're gonna try to make this work, but man, I would really like to just not have like a 22 hour long rebirth run. But if we can make it work as the lost, you know, it's been a, a little while. I, always, I still have that crown jewel. Eh, that's pretty good. I have that crown jewel in my cap a little bit um, that I did so well as the lost. Luckily, and it was like very, very luckily. Um, when I first unlocked the lost, basically, it was not a long time before I actually managed to, to finish the objectives for that character. However, I have not had a good lost run in a long time. Now, that's, I think, pretty much what you would expect. However, I, it would be nice if we could put together, like, at least a decent run here. There's no pressure on us, and this room is, like, the worst for not taking damage, man. Thank you to Sissy Longlegs, by the way. You're spawning a good amount of spiders. Unfortunately, you did not teach them how to survive in the world today, and they're going to the wrong side of the map, which I don't appreciate as much, but that's okay. Sissy Longlegs, uh, a nice little companion here, so we don't feel so lost. What are we looking for on this floor? I mean, quite obviously... Any way to access, well, not access, but any way to get out of our curse room once we fly into it. So any kind of telepills, teleportation, um, you know, stars, hermit, emperor, anything like that. And then anything good. <laughs> I hate to I hate to make a, a truism like that, but really, you know, nine lives, holy mantle, of course, stuff like that is important. But uh, anything that gives us more survivability in the early game, extremely important. But I'm not going to get my hopes up uh, too far yet. A big part of the Lost is is not only player skill, but also just kind of, you know, being in the right place at the right time. Having a good seed, basically. And we can't be sure whether or not this seed is good. Some of that will depend on what boss we end up fighting here. Just want to see if maybe there's a chance for us to get enough money to buy... I don't know, something from our, our shop, but... This should be tough. We're a little bit lucky in the sense that we have, um... Well, we've got Sissy Longlegs helping us out, but then in addition to that, we've got, um... Flatworm, which is actually pretty okay. Watch out for the... Yeah, that's the thing you gotta watch out, out for there. Um, it's pretty okay for uh, hitboxes. I don't think it'll knock the enemies back anymore. Oh, that was a little risky. But it can uh, it can do some good stuff. This will be a real test. Why am I standing back here? This is where you stand if you don't want to get hit during the haunt fight. If the only thing that matters is not taking damage, you stand in this little zone right here. If you stand too close, you're gonna get hit by those, uh, the array of bullets that he shoots out. If you stand too, uh, like over by those pots, you're not gonna be able to hit him very frequently. We're gonna stay as far back as we can while still, you know, using our effective range to do damage here. And this is like, it's the most safe way to fight this. Because those bullets can be a killer, man. There we go. I think that's going to allow us to finish the job here. But we got to be very cautious. If we get through this, I'm going to be pretty proud of myself. Thank you, Sissy Longlegs. Placenta, obviously, uh, effectively worthless, but we're down to the next floor. And all we've got to do to have some hope is have the ability to get to this deal with the devil. All we got to do is survive long enough. Now, that's probably not worth it. We're uh, fairly lucky in that we have one key. I didn't say, like, we're the luckiest people on Earth, you know? We would, probably would have gotten something else in advance of that. However, we're fairly lucky in that we've got one key here. That is, uh, an acceptable ability to enter the, uh, item room. How are we gonna make this run work? The easiest way to do it as the Lost is to not even require a large amalgamation of items. Just a couple of really over-the-top ones. Brimstone, nine lives. Brimstone, holy mantle. Mom's knife, holy mantle. The, like, what did we win with? Ipecac. I hate this room so much. Uh, Ipecac lost contact. That was fucked up, though. We should never have won with that. Um, and Guppy's collar basically made it made that true. We shouldn't have won with that, but we did anyway. Um, we won with Mom's knife, Proptosis, triple shot as well. That was a little bit of a different story. That one was a little easier, I think. But we never had any kind of invincibility or, or respawn items there. The body is, is fucking terrible, man. It's worthless. As the Lost, I want to clarify there. Don't take my words out of context here. But hey, you know, if there's one way to get yourself out of a slump, 
nightmare fucking mode, it would definitely be uh, have a good lost run. It doesn't even have to be a winning lost run. Just a good lost run would be would be potent, man. But it can it can end real quickly. So let's not get too concerned yet. We'll be taking every deal with the devil that we can get. I don't think it's worth trying to get deals with the angel. The deals with the devil, you know, they have an advantage in that they're obviously free. Um, but then, in addition to that, the deals with the angel are predominantly not as strong. So, I think it's better for us to just take the deals with the devil. Although, Holy Mantle only shows up in deal with the angel context. Okay, what's going on here? This is a big room. This is an annoying room. I need some of you, ideally, to spawn into uh, bombs. And then we can push those bombs into the area that we need to do some damage here. I'm proud of any lost run that makes it uh, that makes it to that first deal with the devil. I'll be very happy with myself if we manage to make that happen. Uh, I just felt, I'm going to be honest with you, I felt a little jitter there. I've been feeling very comfortable the whole run. I just felt uh, a yip, if you will, you know. I felt... Uh, I felt bad mojo coming my way. Superstition. I'm not a superstitious person, but I I, I think that uh, sometimes feeling that can manifest it in the way that we play. You know, we can become a little self-defeating here. I'm going to try to avoid that. Let's get an attitude adjustment. We're going to do as best as we possibly can. Most important thing is that we leave this run feeling proud of our performance. Fuck that. The most important thing is that we win. Let's do this. What is up with this floor? It's too long. I I refuse to acknowledge it. Yo, don't create any spiders. Yo, that's a spider, in case you didn't notice. We're getting uh, close to the amount of money where we could, like, buy an item from the shop. And something like Red Candle would be very, very advantageous for us. Kind of want to shoot that bomb up there. Didn't get any pots. That's okay. It's got to be the boss fight here, yeah. No tinted rocks here. A lot of opportunities, but no, uh, nothing that took it to completion there. Alright, let's do this. It's the Dingle fight. I historically have not been doing very well on this recently. And that's embarrassing for me because Dingle is very, very dodgeable. Thing I gotta avoid, don't let him get map control. Don't let him get map control. He creates the, the dips, he gets a little bit of map control. He creates a lot of dips, he gets a little bit of map control. He creates a lot of dips and then shoots, he gets a lot of map control. So if we can take out those dips, our life is going to be a lot easier. And I'm not going to tempt fate by trying to dodge through the center of those. I think that's foolhardy decision. That was a little closer than I'd like to admit, but it's looking increasingly likely like we're going to be able to finish the job here. Speed upgrade. It could be worse. could be an HP upgrade. And we get Brimstone the Nail. Don't die to the freaking spider now. So the brimstone pickup is nice. Like, hugely, hugely advantageous. Um, this actually gives us a chance. What's the what's the benefit of the nail? It's actually pretty good. It, it allows us to possibly get a crawl space, plus the damage bonus associated with it. But the crawl space to maybe get a black market is probably, at least on this floor, a little bit more... Uh, of a, a coup for us. So it didn't work out there, that's okay. We're gonna go to our shop. I would like to reiterate that just because we have Brimstone, that doesn't mean we have a win uh, well within our grasp, but it's a nice help, that's for sure. Is the shop over here? I think it will, yeah, okay. And we got Pandora's box. This is a tough one. Um, I don't know, Pandora's box gives you consumables on this floor. Is that really... Something that's super valuable for us. Few bombs, few keys. I don't think it's as valuable as uh, anything else. The only thing we could do is save it and then use it um, on the cathedral to try to get an angel item. But I think the damage bonus from the nail is more important. It might be a little less interesting, but I think it's more important. Okay, so I'm not gonna go to that curse room as much as I would love to. Oh, I'm so happy we got Brimstone now. Because fighting Envy without some form of piercing shots is just asking for being really, really annoyed. Uh, I, I have to feel that the nail is still probably better than Shoop the Whoop because we can use Brimstone every room. And isn't Brimstone just like a better Shoop the Whoop? We can use it multiple times per room. I think it makes more sense to have the nail, honestly. Uh, I'll try this. 
And I'm, I'm happy with the way that it worked out. Trying to find a way to uh, use this nail card effectively. I don't want to use it like on this room, because we don't get any rocks here. And really, finding a crawl space or black market is something I'm actually interested in, if we can make it happen. But if we can't, that's, that's fine too. We can save our damage bonus for the boss fight. Definitely gotta watch out for these champions. We don't gotta. We don't want to get uh, caught by one that can explode. Same, fully for this uh, room right here. This is good. This is actually where we'll use our nail. We can crush at least some rocks here. We don't need flatworm anymore. It doesn't help us out at all. We might as well take Kane's eye for a chance to get the compass effect on a room. I use this item so little that I'm actually like, is it Kane or is it? Or is it um, compass or is it full mapping? Either way, I guess I'm happy to have it. Uh, magic fingers actually seems like incredible for us right here. I think it's better than the nail. Um, we gotta be careful about these, obviously. Bad gas and health up. Okay, worthless. Yeah, I think magic fingers might be incredible for us as the lost. You know, we really need to avoid taking direct damage. Uh, I think spending any amount of money to make that happen is well worth it. It's a rare situation. Not in many situations will you find that uh, Magic Fingers... Oh, that scared the fuck out of me. Not in many situations will you find that Magic Fingers beats the nail. I think this is one of the weird ones. Oh, cool. A health upgrade. Um, yeah, I think we need both of these. PhD for better pills and uh, the map for the map. Now we can't get anything out of Magic Fingers, but hopefully that'll change. Was that? It's a bomb fly that also explodes when it blows up. Something about that doesn't seem right. Okay. We're good. Oh, this is maybe great. I don't love that as much as I like Kane's Eye, but we can at least use it right now. Hmm. You know what? I think with Counterfeit Penny and uh, the, the uh, items that we've chosen to have, we can justify this. What do we got here? Mega Maw. This is a chance for us to take damage. I really shouldn't, but it, it can happen. Let's be smart. We'll take out the Leaper as soon as it's... Oh, no! Eden run time. It's going to be another fucking 80-minute video. I'm, I'm not proud of myself for that run. We get Fat Odd Mushroom and Book of Revelations. Wexer Dahaya. That was a good run uh, that obviously could have gone better. Uh... And I'm a little disappointed in myself, but we did, I mean, it is hard to be disappointed in yourself in a way when you only take one hit on an entire run, but uh, we, we should have been able to come out of that one ahead, but it's alright. We got a good Eden start here. I feel okay about my performance, and uh, that that was a winnable loss run potentially that I kind of uh, I threw a little bit. Oh, don't. Ab this is what burns me up, man, is when you have something on a run, and you go, oh, I'm so glad we have this, and then you die. It's a very niche scenario. And then you end up doing exactly the same thing without it. The game's just being like, haha, go fuck yourself. Um, Book of Revelations plus an Eden start is awesome. It's great. Um, chance to get a fourth level Meat Boy. You know you're going to have an orbital right off the bat. So even if your damage doesn't improve, although we started with decent damage, even if your damage doesn't improve, you got a good chance to uh, do some damage. You have some recourse to kill an enemy or hurt an enemy at least. Um, and we started with good HP. This is a, a very good Eden start. Good damage, survivability, and a good spacebar item. It's not quite, you know, Proptosis 2020, but it's it's really good. Now, we still don't want Shoot the Whoop. Uh, a little bit more tempting here, maybe. Still not interested. And not really interested in that, either. And I'm gonna get hurt here. It's it's not quite unavoidable, but it's it's unlikely. The spider might end up being... My biggest enemy. Just gotta... <laughs> we gain like a little bit on them every little while, so... I thought we'd uh, just kite them around for as long as possible. Our speed stat is a little lower than I'd like. I wouldn't even mind picking up a, a speed upgrade early. Maybe from this boss, instead of your requisite uh, HP or whatever you'd normally like. Uh, we shouldn't leave yet, because... That would mean I'd have to fight the entire room again. We got lucky enough to find the secret room and get a forget-me-now. Um, 
it's tough, right? Because I think Book of Revelations is, is really nice here. I think I'm just going to stick with Book of Revelations rather than having another first floor. Virgo's a good pickup, too. And, well, we got, uh, we got like two kinds of rooms here. We got one shop, one library type situation. Yeah, we got a library in here. I don't mind spending a key to make this happen, basically. And we've taken the Bible out of our rotation. And also, I can come in here, use the Bible, crack this open, get the cherry card. Um... I, if we end up fighting the haunt or something, we can use the chariot card, I guess. Yeah, I just think forget me now. It's it's not quite good enough to compensate for the loss of Book of Revelations, but I appreciate it. It's a thought that counts. If it was a five room, I'd be all over it. I should have probably guessed that I wasn't fighting the haunt, I suppose. Considering I have Book of Revelations, but on the next floor, anything is possible, man. So we're gonna get a cube of meat here, and then we are going to get a spirit heart, assuming we come out of this with our lives, which should be relatively likely. Now. I did win the most recent non-lost run, and by the way, that last run is why I will never, well, as of right now, I have no plans to, let's just never say never, right? Um, but I got no plans to take the lost out of our random rotation, even though it fucks with our streak. Uh, it's fun, and it, it can lead to some extra tension, which I think is cool, but uh, we'll head down to the next floor. But our, our last non-lost run, we got a victory using our orbitals here. But we probably want to be a little bit more hesitant, considering we don't have the uh, BFF. Okay, you know what? That guy's going to be a little bit more harmless as we get in here. Obviously, uh, simple enemies maybe are, are justifiable to kill like that. And it, I can't deny that it does speed things up. But it just leads to some issues in a, in a lot of circumstances. Any enemy that can like hit you with more than just its movement becomes a problem. And a seriously bad habit is blowing up these green guys uh, with with the ball of bandages or keep of meat. I would not recommend it. Really glad we started with fat odd mushroom here. It accomplished. It's like the perfect Eden starting item. I mean, there's probably better ones, but it's a good one. Uh, gives you extra damage and extra survivability, two things that can really sink an Eden run. So I'm, I'm quite happy about it. Again, it's, it all comes down to perspective here. You know, yes, we can kill them very quickly with our orbital, but at the same time, sometimes it's still faster to shoot them because we can shoot them from afar. So I think I get caught up in the, in the fanciness of it a little bit, and I'm like, oh, look at me. I'm using an advanced level technique, and yeah, I take damage occasionally, but you can't tell me what to do. I do what I want. Anyway, secret room maybe? Okay, we uh, we do need another bomb in order to get into the boss trap room, but we can get into the boss trap room, so that's exciting. And inside of our item room, we find Mongo Baby. I don't think that actually does anything for us right now. Well, I mean, it shoots, but it doesn't uh, replicate any of our existing familiars, because we have no existing familiars. Like, the best thing that you can get here, I don't know if it works with Little Brimstone, but it copies the effect of a familiar. So it would be awesome <clears throat> if our deal with the devil here actually gave us the opportunity to get, like, Rotten Baby. Two Rotten Babies is really, really good. It'd still be nice to have Hive Mind to go along with it, but it's it's still solid. So we'll, we'll come in here, use this, and that was productive, obviously. And then we'll, uh... Come back to that secret room, and inside of the secret room, we'll use the battery again, and we'll get Book of Revelations. So we're up to uh, a, quite a lot of HP, and hoping that uh, we get deals with the devil that might actually take... I mean, either all of our red hearts, leaving us with a decent amount of spirit hearts, or some of our spirit hearts, leaving us with a nice little mixture, but we'll see. We'll see. We can't really control it. Mongo Baby, for now, is a nice little, and I do mean little, like as a, as a descriptor, not just kind of like a filler word. Um, it's a little DPS upgrade when it hits, and that's fine. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to get little Steven to go along with it. If we got, like, Demon Baby, that could be cool too, but most of the other familiars, I'm just gonna be like, eh, you know, it's okay. Unless we get, like, little Gish, but I'd say that's probably not too likely here. Monstro. Monstro, it, it's the ideal basement boss fight. Say that five times fast. It's actually not that hard. I just wanted to give you a little warm-up vocal exercise on a day like today. Very easy fight, a little HP. And Mom's Knife. Okay, I'm gonna take it. It's one of the rare videos in which we have Brimstone and Mom's Knife, and they don't override one another. Again, I still need a win. <laughs> I keep coming into these runs with like a one streak, and then, well, in this case, we ran him the loss. And I don't regret that, by the way. You know, there's something, if you, if you ran him the loss on like a 20 streak, 
you can be a little bit perturbed. For me, what am I, I had a one streak and we had a decent chance on that last round. It wasn't like we just got completely screwed right off the bat, so uh, I'm not going to sweat it too much. What we uh, desperately need here is some speed. I know I've said it before on this run. Uh, I'll say it again. Some speed would be very worthwhile. I literally, I've just said it twice in very rapid succession right there. If we could get uh, a little extra speed, that'd be good. I would not be adverse to getting uh, a, uh, a wooden spoon or a caffeine pill. Anything of that variety would be fine by me. But we should be expecting a second level bandage here. We don't need that spirit art. Let's be honest. We're going to have a really good chance to get to the HP cap anyway. Uh, a second level bandage and another deal with the devil chance is our ideal circumstance here. Even if we end up fighting Krampus, so be it. We want to get that like third or fourth level bandage girl if possible. So this is going to be level two, which is a start. And that's going to give us a little bit more DPS. And then it's going to be a Gertie fight. Now normally, uh, you know, Gertie's the, the tankiest enemy we've fought thus far by a huge order of magnitude. But we're still so strong that I don't think we need to, you know, use the chariot cart. And honestly, Cat of Ninetales is going to help us out a lot here as well. This definitely has the potential to be a boss rush run. Mom's Knife early is just going to save us so much time. I mean, we want to be out of here by 10 minutes. No, wait, this is XL. We still want to be out of here by 10 minutes. Is this correct? I think this is correct. And then you... No, we want to be out of here by... I don't even have, like, a measure for when I want to be out of this one. Really. We want to be out of the next one by 1630. I think we have, like... We got a long time ahead of us here. Why is my brain struggling so much with this math right now? It's not, it's not really math, it's just memory. That's even scarier, I guess. Okay, one more hit here should be able to get the job done. I'm ready. I'm ready! Shoot, coward, you're only going to get killed by a man. There we go. Speed ball, speed plus shot speed. We're still a little slow, but uh, it could be worse. And I really hope this is our secret room. We could accomplish some good stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. Everything's coming out of Millhouse now, including us getting infamy. Right there. And uh, we can't buy a key. That's a disappointment. I'm not going to lie to you there. I will buy the piggy bank. We don't need a spirit art. Like, we're going to get to the HP cap anyway. Um, I'll buy a piggy bank just because we can, basically. And I think it'll pay for itself. It's already given us three cents, I think. It depends sometimes. No, I think it just gave us three flat there. Um, it, uh, it'll probably pay for itself. If we find a single blood bank, it'll pay for itself. If not, it'll probably still pay for itself over the course of a run. It's not the best shop item. It's okay, though. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. And it very nearly paid for itself already, I guess. I'm gonna try to find Magic Mush. Not good odds, but worth a shot. Oh, that was Swallowed Penny working in conjunction with Piggy Bank there. Take Liberty Cap, uh, because... I like it, basically, and there's a chance that it gives us, uh, you know, Skinny Odd Mushroom or Mini Mush makes us a little faster. It's not an enormous chance, but it, it helps out. I think we want to be out of here by... We want to be out of here by 13.30 is where I normally consider uh, the, the cutoff timeline for this level. Oh, it almost worked. I think we're going to be out of here by 13.30. We have like four minutes left to go. Need another key. You know what? Oh, well, thanks a lot, Virgo. I mean, it, sincerely, thanks a lot, Virgo, but also it paid out <clears throat> at the last possible, or the worst possible time. Give me invincibility on my next play. I figured, though, we had two chariot cards. We might as well swing it like that. Uh, never mind, we have three chariot cards. That's my mistake. Guess I've forgotten the ability to count. As usual, the troll engine may making me look like an idiot. And uh, everyone watching right now says, Northern Line, we watched episode 487, Trainwreck. You don't need any help looking like an idiot. That is mean. I can say that about myself. You can't say that about me, right? It's like if you've got a friend who's a little bit overweight, they can crack a joke about their own weight. When you do so, it's hurtful. We'll do it. Mostly because I have this extra chariot card and because, you know, I, I we're strong. <laughs> I, I, I hate to just, you know, lampshade it that fully, but like for real. I'm just going to hold my knife here and if you walk into it, that's your problem. Melee knife is, I think, a, a viable strategy on enemies that don't shoot very often. It's kind of like, you know, the, the nightmare mode of using uh, full orbital strat, but we're not going to need to use full orbital strat. What are our go-to uh, items and synergies now? I would 
fucking love if hell you don't you deserve to damage me there that was amazing uh, show of form that was incredible um, mom's contact little gish don't talk to me um, you know what I won't stand for that let's get our shit back here yeah um, mom's contact little gish Juicy Sack, stuff along those lines. Um, oh, we are slow now. Um, why? Slowing enemies and then having the ability to just beat the crap out of them with Mom's Knife is going to be great for us. We're already in an amazing position, but it never hurts to make it even better. And also, that'll be good if we get a third or fourth level Bandage Girl. It'll actually start uh, you know, doing that damage a little faster and, and being able to aggro it consistently without us having to constantly babysit it. It's important. Necropolis 1, well ahead of schedule here, of course. Certainly no need to use Chariot card here. We are blowing up that guy like on top of the Abyss, which is not a good opportunity uh, for us to do good things. Not very smart with that damage either. Or was it? Piggy Bank took me to 32 cents, which is the all-important amount of money if you want to buy two things and then almost buy a third thing that's also on sale. See, I'm always thinking about the fiscal consequences for my actions. I want to be the Kevin O'Leary of uh, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You know Kevin O'Leary is Canadian? This is a mark of great uh, national shame, actually, as a result of his gross impoliteness. But he is a very successful businessman. Although, um, I believe that his, the purchase of his edutainment company by Mattel has been listed as one of the dumbest acquisitions of all time. Although, you know, I guess that makes him a great businessman if he was able to get very wealthy in that way. He must be a good negotiator. Probably because he's Canadian. And Kevin O'Leary is the, um, the mean judge. He's the Simon Cowell of Shark Tank slash Dragon's Den. Here, anyway. Look, I love Book of Shadows. I've used it to great effect on numerous opportunities. Or at numerous opportunities, but, uh, it's just not going to beat our Book of Revelations sweetness that we got going on here. Obviously that still hurts us, but with Piggy Bank, I was like, shit man, I gotta get my money back. So we got Empress, we got Chariot. I think Empress probably beats Chariot. It's a little bit of a judgment call, but it doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's get a move on here then. Still slow. Still very, very, very slow. Okay, so this is a dead end, I guess. We want to be out of this floor if we want to do Boss Rush, which we do. This Empress card can make it even easier by uh, about 16, 1630, somewhere in there. So we got three more minutes before we start to get a little anxious. And that's fine. Lots of good Mom's Knife synergies in contrast to uh, Vanilla, where it was basically just Mom's Knife. We didn't break even there. We actually took a little damage, but we earned a little money as well. So I guess we'll uh, be happy with that. For now, let's come down this way. Does the knife... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter. Still hate that room. And I'm not a huge fan of this room either. This is a pretty devilish one. I could actually manage to hit them. The hitbox on those freaking jerry curls bothers me to no end. Okay. Look at Revelations taking us back to the HP cap. We should recall that we have a very, very good deal with the devil chance here. Didn't get one on the last floor. It probably only counts as one floor. If it counts as two, we have a basically a 100% chance of a deal with the devil. And this is basically as overpowered as you can get, only having one deal with the devil choice. If it's Mom's Knife, you're probably going to be in a better position. Still a little... I'm still asking what if about that, that lost run, man. We, we maybe could have swung that, could have made it work. Who knows what the next deal with the devil would have been, you know? Excellent. No keys, 64 cents. One of these things is not like the other, can't even open that. We don't have Guppy's Tail or anything like that, so I'm not particularly impressed with the amount of uh, golden chests that we're spawning. Still, I'm like, this is the ultimate complaint. This is the world's richest man complaining about, you know, how much he has to spend on security or something like that. However, I could still use a little bit more damage. We are one-shotting enemies, but we're not like one-touching enemies, you know? 
And again, I, I recognize that those criticisms or that, that complaint is going to fall on deaf ears a little bit because of the fact that we're uh, doing so much damage as is. But we could use a little bit more, and there's third level Bandage Girl. That'll help out. Satanic Bible, no thanks. We're going for fourth level Bandage Girl here. We've had so many tempting offers of other books. We're on Necropolis 2 at 1531. So not... Um, yeah, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Come on. No longer blowing the doors off speed-wise, but it's okay. I'm not going to pick up the money. It's it's less important. On the way back, we can get it. Liberty Cap has given us some vision. So it pays to take a second here to look at this. Uh, boss room's down there. So I think we're going to make our way to our item room first on the left side here, and then we'll talk about whether or not we're going to go to those other special rooms. Having the choice of you know one of four items can be particularly strong. I would like to go to our shop though, because the shop, you know, it contains all those items that uh, make your spacebar item even better. Why, why use Book of Revelations there? So what are we hoping for now? The number one thing that we can get on this run to make me happy is just not conquest or Mr. Fred. Is it really like a two-thirds chance to fuck up a third-level Bandage Girl by getting one of those on the womb? Like there's, ah, that was dumb. There's two out of three permutations that fuck with us. But that doesn't mean it's a it's a one third chance. Maybe you have like a ninety percent chance with Book of Revelations of actually getting the Horseman. <coughs> I'm I'm unaware. Let's put it that way. It's one of the very frustrating things that makes getting Bandage Girl and Meat. Well, let's talk about the things that make that frustrating. First, you've pretty much got to have Book of Revelations, or it's an infinitesimal chance. So I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Second. Um, even with Book of Revelations, there's a huge chance that you fuck it up on the, uh, on the womb, or prior, but usually on the womb, to Conquest or, we don't need Spirit Arts, to Conquest or, uh, Mr. Fred, or, or just a double room, double boss room, I think would do it as well, and then on top of that, you have to do it twice, once for Meat Boy, one for Bandage Girl, and you could easily, you know, like if you get a cube of meat instead of a ball of bandages and you already have the Meat Boy achievement, even if you have all the necessary conditions to try to make the run work, you're not going to be able to do it. Alright, Guppy's Tail. We got no uh, chess, but we'll do it, I guess. Not a smart idea on my part. Yeah, like a lot of really stupid damage here. Why not use the Empress card? Boss Rush, of course. Let's see what we've got in our deal with the devil. It is Ghost Baby, which is like still really, really bad. I'm not interested in that. It's really bad for the price anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, triple shot, triple shot mom's knife makes the charge time take a lot longer. I think if you hit, it does crazy damage though. This is, you know, one of the things that made that one proptosis run work for us. So I'm not gonna be mad about this. And with the Emperor's card, I think this is gonna be a super easy you know, fight for us. Provided we can hit. And, you know, I think in order to make it work, you gotta hit with all three knives, but that's why I'm happy there's not that much of a spread between them, actually. So, the, the key to enjoying boss rush is killing enemies before they can even attack. And if we could just get one Virgo-sized period of invincibility, that's gonna be incredible for us. Oh, thank you, Infamy. That's gonna be incredible for us as well. Because that's uh, going to be long enough for us to deal with at least a wave or two. Plus we get... Oh, Infamy. You're too good to me, man. Plus we're going to get uh, one more item at the end of this. And it's it's an easy finish here. Like, we might lose a little bit of HP. But we still got Book of Revelations no matter what. We still got Mom's Knife. It's unlikely we're going to take too much damage in the process here. These are going to be the most annoying rooms. Normally they are the most annoying waves. Oh, that was very stupid. Normally they're the easiest. But here we go. Virgo Invincibility. Again, at least one or two waves. Don't make a liar out of me. Well, honestly, we're never going to go much faster than we did against that wave, so... Maybe one wave is, is a more reasonable approximation. Don't want to shoot the red poop. It would be very nice if we could just have the red poop actually destroy you. There we go. And with Bandage Girl, it's a very easy uh, finish there. This is That wave is my measure for us getting into like the next phase of the fight. Pretty soon we're going to have the Horseman. we got like two easy waves coming up next. With the Hollow and uh, the Husk on this one. Oh no, we've got one easy wave. I make that mistake like literally every single time. I'm like, two easy waves? No, five easy pieces. Take the chicken and shove it between your knees. That's a 
It's my Jack Nicholson impression. You look, it's not that amazing, probably. That's okay. It's like exactly the same as my Christian Slater impression. Which, I don't know, man. Have you ever seen them in the same room together? What is Christian Slater if not uh, Jack Nicholson but like 25 years younger? I really thought I'd kill him before he hit me. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for a lot of the damage that I've taken here. Except uh, to say that it probably won't matter. But that's not really a good excuse. Yeah, there he, again. We got an HP upgrade for our trouble there. And we're not that far behind, you know, being able to do boss rush again if we wanted to, I suppose, but we can't. Alright. Ace of Spades work with me. I want some uh, Joker cards. I still think the Ace of Spades is a misunderstood song. I've gone on this tangent a lot recently, but I've been thinking about it, because previously I've been like, oh, Ace of Spades is about a dude who's like, he doesn't care about anything. Like, he... he you know, he'll gamble with his life, he'll gamble with your life, he doesn't care, it's all the same to him. But really, I think it's a song about somebody who understands that gambling is meant to be entertainment and not a legitimate money-making strategy. If you want to gamble, I'll, I'll tell you I'm your man, you know, he's good company. Win some, lose some, it's all the same to me. It's like, you know, I'm gonna have a good time whether we win or lose because I set a responsible limit and play within it. I think it's a really good, uh... It's a really good kind of role model song for, for people that are struggling with, with gambling addiction. I might be misreading it somewhat, but I refuse to recognize that as a possibility. So this chariot card is, uh, it basically has Isaac written all over it. I mean, you can't see it, but I'm really close to the monitor. Um, so I, I'm aware of the, the subtext here. We're going to use it on Isaac, and it, it should allow us to maybe not get through him without, uh, god fucking damn it. Maybe get through it without, or maybe not get through it without taking damage, but, um, you know, get through it pretty quickly. Come on, Conquest, work with me here. Drop a cube of meat somehow. I don't think it can happen, but it could, and I can't get rid of Book of Revelations. You know what, you know, actually, I think I can. I think I can. The ability to fly might be more important for us right now, actually. I know that the Book of Revelations is a better item than White Pony. However, we're low on speed, and having extra mobility is going to allow us to do things like that. Basically, just, like, destroy the enemies without them even having a chance. So, um, I actually think that this is the right call here, you know? Just a further, a further kind of, uh, I don't want to say proof, but evidence, perhaps, that, uh, you know, there, there's no absolutes, or there's few absolutes in uh, in Rebirth. Sometimes an item that is worse than an item can be better. Oh, this full health. Does it beat the Chariot card? I think so. I mean, there's no real reason not to use the Chariot card, except laziness, but that's that's a, a dominating reason in my mind share here. Strength, death. I don't use any cards that have TH at the end, except for the Hero Font. We'll go back for that key, because apparently that's the most valuable resource on this entire run. Don't really want to play uh, Demon Judgment or a Judgment or... Oh, Tinted Rock in there. Or a uh, Blood Bank, so I'm not that interested in what's going on there. Yeah, that's beautiful. We've almost certainly got to go through the big room. Like, I, I would be... Come on. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if we didn't have to. They put those big rooms there so that you go to other rooms, and then you go, Oh, maybe we won't have to go to the big room, but you're probably going to have to go to the big room. Uh... Our secret room is not going to be adjacent to that side of the curse room, at least. So that's that's enough for me to just come in here and say, okay, let's do it this way. Now, of course, after asking for the ability to fly, taking uh, a trade where we got rid of our defense item in order to take perhaps not the most amazing of uh, flying items, we just pick up fate. But, you know, we got an extra HP out of it anyway. An extra HP? It kind of makes sense. Emperor card. I think the Emperor card might beat full health, honestly. I know that sounds ridiculous, but we can use this immediately on the uh, Cathedral, which is coming up real fast, to sort it out. Or what we might actually end up doing, because apparently I'm very slightly flipping the script here, you know, messing with it, is uh, I'm going to do the Cathedral and then we'll skip all of the chest, because I need two extra keys to really make the Cathedral worthwhile, you know? Or to make the chest worthwhile. So I think we might as well give it a shot here. And the, the Cathedral, of course, is easier than the chest as well. So this seems like a decent call. Two Emperor cards. Well, that, I mean, it doesn't really benefit us all that much. We got three keys now. 
thank you, Infamy. Yo, you gotta give credit to Infamy. People are like, oh, why does Northern Lion have such good luck? Yo, did you ever consider that maybe it's because every time I get good luck, I thank the game? Look, I'm no mathematician, but certainly there's gotta, gotta be some kind of politeness principle that, you know, influences probability. Health up, yeah, we'll take that. Maybe you were just being real rude. You go, oh, fuck, give me this, give me this, give me this, you know? Nobody likes a, you know, a bossy Betsy like that. You gotta, you know, massage the game. When the game does a good thing for you, don't say, oh, finally. You just gotta be like, you know, thank you. I appreciate that, you know? I know you're trying to do your job, and, and I'm here to facilitate that. I'm trying to do my job as well. There's no reason we have to work against one another. We can work in concert, and, and it'll, be, it'll be fun. Dare I say, it'll be an adventure. Anyway, this is, you know, when you consider that we've got this Emperor card here, it's it, probably a one run, especially we just need like one more key, come on. We don't need one more key. Thank you, Infamy. See? Was that so freaking hard? Oh, if I say thank you, then they have the upper hand on me in this social interaction. Yo, we don't live in the freaking savanna. Just say thank you, man. Here in Canada, you say thank you when you get arrested. Been watching this show, Border Security. Oh. The cops are, like, arresting people for breaking the law. And they're like, uh, could you please put your hands behind your back? I'm going to arrest you now. And they go, oh, okay. Sorry. That's not a joke. So don't laugh, okay? These are serious police officers who do a great job. But they're also, that doesn't stop them from being polite. They'll find, like, hey, sir, do you have any, uh, rocket launchers in your car? No. I don't have a rocket launcher in my car. What are you talking about? And then they have a rocket launcher in their car, and then the police are like, I'm real sorry about this, but i got to arrest you. And they go, oh, well, I'm sorry I lied about the rocket launcher. And they go, well, you know, take it up with the judge. And then they're executed. But everyone is very polite about it. Um... I don't know if I really, like, wanted to use the sun card there, but we gotta do something with it, right? Like, we're not gonna need it for full health. We have two full health pills that we've already completely forsaken. Oh, store credit. That's a good one. Now, you're giving me the opposite of keys. You're giving me locks. I, I, I shaved off my locks seven years ago. It's a, it's a hair. Sometimes we call locks hair, you know, like Goldilocks. It's some old-ass, like... Middle English or something like that. Don't worry about it too much. It's okay. It's not going to come up on your TOEFL. Alright. Please. That uh, was a very dangerous game that I just played there. Like Chris Isaac. The Binding of Chris Isaac. There's your Photoshop challenge for today. It's Isaac with a K. K-I-S-A-A-C. Let's see what we got here with our three keys, at least. Mini Mush Game Kid Pills. That's like, that's pretty bad. We got the speed upgrade, though. What's our pill? Did we get PhD? That was the last run, wasn't it? Mom's a key. Oh, yeah, sweet. All right, we got Aquarius along with it. It's, it is what it is. We'll Emperor card out quickly. We might as well use, like, Game Kid right now. And, you know, I imagine this is going to hurt him quite a large deal here. But the week... Where did those flies, like, became friendly towards us? I don't know what was happening there. But that was a very fast run, a very fun run. And we'll be back with a Isaac run, because we basically did an Eden run right there. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.